Hello, this is Geo Techland, and today I'll be taking a look at the Pinebook Pro. My main goal with getting the Pinebook Pro and testing it is can this $200 laptop be used as a daily driver? A daily driver can be subjective for a lot of people, but defining it as something that can be used by the regular person. You don't need too much power, you just need to do the basic things like, you know, browse the web, use an office suite, take notes. Just a media consumption device. So this is the Pinebook Pro in all its glory here. The bezels themselves, they're pretty thin. So they're not bulky like what I still see on a lot of laptops these days. And if I take a closer look here, the keyboard itself is actually pretty decent. The trackpad itself, it's pretty clicky. This is the 64 gigabyte model here. Now, let's take a look at the ports here. So this is a USB 2.0, I believe. The headphone jack and a micro SD card. Kind of wish they also had included a regular SD card, but I think that's fine. If I flip it here, you have the power outlet, USB 3.0, and a USB Type-C slot. The one thing that made recording this video difficult, or capturing the screen on here, was the fact that there is no HDMI and no Ethernet, I guess. Well, mostly the HDMI thing, because that I needed to get an adapter, USB. B type C to HDMI which made it an extra hassle and then of course there's no Ethernet port but I guess that shouldn't be too much of a problem it is a $200 device so it gets a pass the build quality itself it's very uh, metallic but it's decent it doesn't feel too cheap it has no brand no pine book brand anywhere so I mean, I kind of wish it did, though. I would definitely love to flaunt a community-driven organization here. All right. The browser is going to be the one of the more important parts here. And generally, when you're using Chrome or Chromium, it is kind of laggy and sluggish at times in terms of scrolling. But thankfully, the videos themselves can be played at 1080p. So... I have this Mulan clip just because you know it shows motion and I'm gonna play it right now just so you can get an idea. There is no sound. You may hear a little bit coming directly from the laptop but my capture card doesn't record the sound but I can assure you sound works perfectly fine on the Pinebook Pro and you can watch videos on it. I would imagine that's something a lot of people do is just you know come home from a hard day's work and just you know whip out their laptop and browse YouTube videos or you know videos on LBRY or Peertube and so you can expect that to be pretty awesome another thing with the browser is the startup let's try it here one two three starts out pretty fast like you know you could tell there's kind of a lag but it's not too bad Firefox is installed here. It's not a late or um, an updated version of Firefox. It did seem to work pretty good as well. It even played the videos good. So if you're a fan of Firefox, it looks like it is pretty viable here. All right, so now that we've tested the browser, so we'll want LibreOffice Writer. Let's see, this is actually, I haven't booted LibreOffice in this, for, in this session here, so you're getting it raw here. And it is pretty fast. I'll have to say this Open Sesame OS comes default with the Pinebrook Pro. And it's not the prettiest, but you know, that's all right. It's not the main focus right now. LibreOffice works pretty good and boots up pretty quick. Certainly quicker than I've seen on the Raspberry Pi. And really, that's really the only other program that must be tested. I did tweak around with the settings here. 
um, just to change the look of it, switch it to dark mode. And my only other comments are that this OS and the Pinebook Pro itself, it's still a work in progress. It's still very much in beta because there's just so many tests coming coming out fast and has updated you know kernels and drivers. So that should be interesting. But before that, I'll probably test the Raspberry Pi with Manjaro. So I do want to do another video eventually with Manjaro because I hear Manjaro works a little bit better. And I can't wait till the Pinebook Pro itself evolves and gets better and maybe even a lot more. I would imagine maybe like a $400, maybe even $500 device with just a very premium look. Just as a daily driver type of, um, you know, ARM based laptop. So my conclusion is in terms of the hardware and the power, this definitely gets you what you need. And it's only going to get better from here on out as the software improves. Let me know what else you would like to know about the Pinebook Pro in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube or follow me on LBRY or PeerTube. Don't forget to like and share. I will see you all next time.